Now, in just two weeks' time, world leaders will gather in Sri Lanka for the Commonwealth Heads of Government Summit. Those leaders, including David Cameron, travel in the face of continuing protests over the appalling human rights record of its hosts. But tonight, this programme can reveal new evidence which will put yet more pressure on them to boycott the meeting. Until now, the Sri Lankan government has insisted that the Tamil Tiger TV presenter and actress Isai Piria was killed in combat at the end of the Civil War. But new video evidence shows her alive and in the custody of government forces. This exclusive report by our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Miller has some distressing images right from the start. Her name is Shoba. At 27, she was born the very year that civil war broke out. In Sri Lanka, she was better known as Isipriya, a lieutenant colonel in the Tamil Tiger Separatist Insurgent Army. And this is the moment of her capture by government forces. She sits half naked and disorientated in a muddy seaside swamp, apparently caught while trying to escape the final bloody showdown. Isapriya looks uninjured. Her captors treat her with dignity. They think she's the Tamil leader's daughter. But she's not. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Isapriya worked for the Rebel Media and Propaganda Unit, newscaster on Tamil Tiger TV. She was also an actress and a singer, reportedly much loved by viewers in her homeland and among the Tamil diaspora worldwide. In this pop video, she's glorifying suicide bombers. But Channel 4 News obtained photographs taken by a Sri Lankan soldier which show Isapriya lying in a ditch, hands bound behind her back, apparently unconscious, possibly dead. We also obtained horrific video footage of Isapriya dead, a gash across her face. She had clearly been sexually assaulted. The same video depicts the summary execution of bound male captives by Sri Lankan soldiers. The Sri Lankan government has always maintained that Lieutenant Colonel Isapriya was killed in combat. Now we know she wasn't. The Tamil Tigers were a terrorist organization. But lawyers say Lieutenant Colonel Isapriya's apparent murder by her captors would represent strong evidence of a war crime. Well, I'm joined now by Callum McRae, the journalist who obtained that new video for the documentary film No Fire Zone, which will be shown on Channel 4 on Sunday night. Callum, what's the significance of this? I mean, I think this is incredibly significant, not just because it's a horrible incident, although it's certainly that, but because taken along with all the other evidence of executions and mistreatment of prisoners at the end of the war, it suggests something systematic. Uh, and in an army as disciplined as the Sri Lankan army, that suggests responsibility can go right to the very, very top. And it, it shouldn't be forgotten that, you know, we know where this happened. We know who was in charge. So if we know that, why hasn't the Sri Lankan government investigated, especially given all the the calls on them to investigate from the UN and even from our Prime Minister. And what's the impact going to be? I think the impact is going to be uh, very, very significant. You've got to remember that in just two weeks' time, uh, the leaders of one-third of the world are gathering in Colombo, in Sri Lanka, for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Um, and there is great controversy over whether it should ever have been held there. This will certainly add to that controversy. We'll put huge pressure on our Prime Minister. We'll put huge pressure on the Indian Prime to Minister in particular to boycott or to make some kind of statement. Yes, it is going to make it very, very difficult for these questions to be avoided at the Commonwealth. Callum and Craig, thanks very much.